Evening everybody, Richard back for part 8 of this SS France tutorial. Today's focus will be the top uh, deck houses on the top of the superstructure, the forward mast and hopefully the funnels if I can get the design right. Um, I'm having trouble writing it down but uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, before I do all that though I'm just going to show you the windows and doors I've added to the superstructure. Basically from the back end of the bridge, just the same as usual. Uh, but this time it's six windows, door, six windows, door, six windows, door. You get the idea. But basically just add them all along the side. Like so. And I've also added them across the back as well. Uh, although I haven't done that on the bottom deck yet. I keep meaning to do that, but uh, I haven't done that. So you can see the windows across there and windows on the one below. Haven't added any windows along the bottom there. Like I said, I keep meaning to do it, but I always forget. Hopefully I'll do that before the end of the uh, tutorial, but we'll see. Anyway. Get to avoid all that shit for now. Um, head down to the mast. Like I said, we'll get the get the deck houses and the mast out of the way first, and if I can get the design right for the uh, well, I've got the design fine. I'm just writing it all down and making sure I can read it and be able to uh, interpret it into actually readable instructions. But we'll see. So we'll get these uh, main bits out of the way first, and then we'll uh, worry about that later. So what we're going to do? We're going to go to the front end of the bridge. So the front wall of the bridge here on the grey here so on the seventh bl seventh grey block grey block back we're going to add our start building our wall so the seventh grey block back so one two three four five six seven so on the seventh block we build our wall and this wall is going to be five wide so that's two either side so it's five like that and then two at something on two at the sides like so and then the side walls uh, are going to be 11 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 7 on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 2 in like that, and then join across the back, so it's basically the same design all the way around, so it's 5 front and then the 5 at the back, so it's basically that shape, and then just increase the height of these walls to 3 blocks high, I think I've got a cold because my nose won't stop running, <sighs> Well, I said the other day I got a cold or a flu, so it's coming back again. Never mind. So just add these ones all to three high. So there we go, and then just add the roof as well. You can either use grey wool for the uh, roof or just do what I'm doing and use the white blocks again. Uh, it's a pretty non-standard design for this uh, mast. Or master box, if you like. Um, but you can use any colour you want. So if you're building the Norway, then it's probably going to be blue or something like that. So, but we'll see. And oh, hang on. bit of lag there. All right, there we go. There's the uh, deck house master box, if you like. So that's that. Uh, three high and all such things and roof added. Now for the mast itself. Going to go to the fourth block back on the top. So find the centre block of the front block. So centre here on the front. Fourth block back. So one, two, three, four. We build our master. The master is going to be uh, seven up. So one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven. And then three fives. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then six. One, two, three, four, five bollocks uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then 3 1, 2, 3 like that so it's 7, 5, 5, 5, 6, 3 like that and then at the top you build 2 back like that and then just build straight down <coughs> excuse me all the way to the the bottom down like that so that's the outline of your mast and then just fill in the uh, the gap in between, so just fill in all like this. This is a bit annoying. I don't really need to actually. You don't need to fill it in. Um, before you fill it in, don't need to. All right. So what you want to do, instead of filling it in, you do the next row. So on either side of the first row of seven, you build uh, one block back and one block to the side. So basically diagonally out. Then you copy the design. So you build the seven up, and then you build the five, and then the the other five, then the other five, and then the six, and then the three. 
like that. So that's that's what I'm trying to get at. So don't bother filling in the side. Just build the design, the side design like that. And then at the back, you just build straight down again, all the way to the bottom. And then you can fill in the side, but I'll do the other side first. So do have a quick look again. That's how it's meant to be, like that. So I'll do the same on the other side. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the five, and then the other five, and then the third five, and then the six, and then fall to the ground again, and then the three at the top, and then you build straight the way, all the way to the bottom. Like that. And I'll just keep falling down, keep scratching my head. Alright, so that's that uh, side done. Let me just fill in the gap in between. Now you can fill in the side. There we go, that's one side done, as you can see. And we do the same on the other side. There we go, that's the mast pretty much done, uh, design wise. And then about halfway up, you can add the radar, uh, sonar, whatever it is. It's not sonar, is it? It's radar. Sort of about halfway up, put a block out inside and then put two blocks out like that. Same at the top, uh, put a block or two blocks and then a couple out the side. You can adjust this how you want and add a few better details while I'm just sort of going with a random design. The one over there is a bit different. But uh, you can adjust it to whatever design you want to. But that's how the mast roughly should look. The main bulk of the mast is fine, but the smaller bits you want to add is up to you. Right, so that's that. Uh, on to the next bit. It's going to be two deck houses now. As you can see on the model, on the model over there, a deck house under funnel number one and a deck house under funnel number two. So they're, they're almost the same. The only thing that's different is the length, really. So we're going to go to the back wall of the uh, mast deck house here. And we're going to leave a gap between the back wall, uh, and the, the, the gap is going to be uh, seven gaps. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block, we build our wall. So you've got a seven block gap between the back wall of there and the front wall of the next deck, deck house. And this wall is going to be seven wide. So that's uh, three other sides. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So that's seven wide, and the sides, um, trying to read my notes here, not done it very well. So the sides you go three out like that. Same on the other side, you go three, three out like that. And then uh, you go two and two, and then two back like that. Same on the other side, you go two, two, and then two back. And then, um, Sides are 46. I'll go to the other side first. So, that, so from that three, you go at 46. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 46. And at the back end, you do the same design. So you go 3, 2, 2, like that. And then two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe that's right. Same on the other side then. Three, two, 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 and then the 46 between both ends. So just build this quickly freehand. There we go, that's all joined up there. So that is your design. So the side walls is that the front wall and the back wall are the same, like on the uh, the, the, the uh, mast deck house, and the sides are 46 long. So that's that. And then the next job you want to do is just increase the height as per usual to four blocks high. So that's three, four.
Uh, just well, I did it for the rest of this because it's going to take forever otherwise. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Takes forever, I know. Apologies there. I should do a jump cut for this to save a bit of time, but I can't be bothered. Down to the other end. You get the idea how this is going to go to. Basically, it's all the usual uh, build a wall, foundation, and then just increase to four high. Right, so there we go. That's that wall all done, <laughs> all to four high, and then for the for the roof, it's been it's going to be the dark wool, dark grey wool uh, across the top. So basically, build the wall, uh, build the roof, the same height as the top row of blocks. So basically, just along there like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a block there, and block there, and stand on it, and we're going to use the fill tool again. So fill, thirty-five, seven, three hundred or something. And then we get there's the roof all added. So there we go, that's that deck house all done. Um, and then, like before, you can add the doors and windows. The doors and windows on this one are slightly different. As you can see on the prototype over there, you can see the windows are a bit bigger. There are sort of uh, in groups of six. So we'll leave the windows for now. But if you want if you want to copy them, you can see the design. They're just sort of grouped to six. So you've got a group of six there, and then a group of six white, group of six windows, group of six white, group of six windows, group of six white. You get the idea. Uh, just do that all the way around. And that should be fine. Um, so the next job, you're going to go to... You're going to leave a gap between the first deck house and the second one. So from the first, uh, from the back wall of the first deck house, you're going to leave a gap of... 40... Eight, I think so. We'll leave a gap of 48. So I'm going to use my uh, white blocks to build a line of 48. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be about right. So at the end of the 48, you build your wall, which isn't very good because it's the same colour as the line. So um, I'll uh, Build it like that. So now we get, we get rid of our line. So it's a 48 block gap between the front wall, uh, the back wall of the first deck house to the front wall of the second one. So there we go. Right, so then we're going to head back over there and replace that block with a white one. Like so. Now, the design is, is the front design is exactly the same. It is seven wide, so it's three either side, and then three out to the side, and then two two and then two back. So the same on the other side. We go three three out, two, two, and then two back. And the sides, you don't really need to count them, they'll go all the way to the back of the deck. So I measure them anyway once I've built them. So basically from the end of that three just build the line all the way to the back edge of the deck we're building on. So all the way to the back end. way to there. So then we get up to the back end of that deck and then just build across tracing the top of the uh, of the deck below. Ooh, and then we'll do the same on the other side if we can get there. And just build the line tracing the top. Uh, <laughs> yeah I've done that. Just build the line all the way to the back and then trace the top. Do 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 missed one. And missed another one. All the way to the back like that. So there we go. There's your deck house foundation done. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'll do a, tri do a quick jump cut while I um, increase the walls in height just to save a bit of time. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've increased the height of all the walls around now to four high. So that's how it should look here on the uh, stern deck house. Um, so basically all you need to do now is just to add the roof, which is the same grey wool again. So once again just add the grey wool 
around the top line of the uh, white section. So once again, I just used the fill tool. So it's uh, fill 35, 7, 400 or so. And there we go. There's the deck all added, or the roof if you like. And that is that deck has done then. Like I said, you can add the doors and windows to it as and when you like. All right, so the next job to do is to build the funnels. Now, I've written down all the details I need to know, roughly. Uh, so we're going to go to the front end of the superstructure again. So on the deck house just behind the mast, you're going to find the front wall, which is here in the center block. And on the... Th Shit. <laughs> Sorry, that's my phone going off. I just didn't expect it. Um, so yeah, on the grey, you're going to go to the 13th back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And on the 13th block, we add the first block of the funnel. Now just make sure, just trying to line it up with the one in the distance. I think it's about right. Uh, so yeah, 13th black, uh, 13th back on the grey wall. So you put, so you, that's the first block of your funnel. So that's the centre point. So you put one behind it like that. And you, the the shape of the funnel is going to be two back like that, and then three, three, and then eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three, 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 two, two. So the same on the other side. So it's, that's half of it. So the other half is two, three, three, eight, like that, and then three, three, and then two. So that is the shape of your funnel. It's a bit narrow, but uh, hey ho, it's no big issue. So you should either side have a gap of three block, three grey blocks either side uh, of the, on the deck like that. So that's the shape of your funnel. All right, now for the design of the funnel is going to be in two phases. The front half of the funnel, basically from this front block up to this front block here of the outer section, it's going to be one design, and then the back wall of each section on the back end, on the back half, is going to be another design. So on the front half, it's going to be built up in uh, three rows of seven. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is the front section, how that's going to be designed. So do that same design on the front blocks of each of the front sections, uh, or, or at least to the front block of the row of eight on the side. So uh, actually, I'll try and do that now, just a bit of time. Actually, I'll copy it. I'll copy it because I can. Uh, so we go, try and get to the top. <sighs> so from that block down to that block, we we'll just go copy. So we're going to put the same design on all of the front blocks. So we just go paste to there, paste to there, oops, paste to there, and then paste to there. So there we go. That is where they're all meant to be. So the rows of seven, uh, seven, 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 go on all the front blocks like that. Now for the back blocks, the end of the row of eight and all the way to the back end is going to be a different design. And this design is going to be uh, going to be a row of four. So I'll start on the middle. So it's one, two, three, four, and then it's two, uh, three rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then four. One, two, three, four, and that is the same height as the sections on the front. So it's a, it's, a, it's a steeper curve than what is at the front. So the front is just three rows of seven, whereas the back row is five rows uh, of smaller sections. So I just finish off filling out the front section with the, the uh, rows of seven. So I just paste all them into place. So I just paste all of them. So that's all those sections in place like that. And then I do the same with the back section. So I copy all of them. And paste them into place. So, like on the uh, front sections, just put them all on the end blocks of the back sections, and once it's done, I'll show you how it's all meant to be. Right, so that is the skeleton dungeon. You can see. The front section is one design, the back section is another design, and they should meet together at the top there like that. So that is the funnel design, and it should look something like that when it's done. The black section will be added in a minute, so we'll just get the main hulk of the red out of the way. So like as usual, when we're building the hulk, just go on the inside and fill in the gaps. Just to save a bit of time. 
well, I'll save a bit of time, it's not really saving time, it's just uh, wasting time, really. Uh, so, like before, you just fill in the gaps, and when it's all done, it should look ra rather splendid. Right, so that's let's get out. That's one side. So you can see it looks something like that. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I sort out the other sides, so and then we'll work on the uh, the black section. So I'll return in just a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've filled in all the uh, side of that funnel, so the funnel design should look something like this. It's uh, nothing special, but uh, hey ho, there we go. So that's the uh, bottom part done. So now we're going to move on to the black section. So when we're at the top. I'm just going to f cover the top of the funnel, so basically the gap on the top here. You can either fill it in with black or with red, so I just fill it in with black. Uh, the whole top of the funnel, just fill it all in. Basically just creating a cover, and basically a base for the black section to sit on, so that's how we're going to work. And there we go, that's that section done. Now for the black section of the funnel, we're going to go from the uh, first block of the, blacks, of the black uh, cover. Um, and it's going to be one, hang on, it's going to be uh, seven high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it, is it seven blocks? It's a bit too high to me, let me just check that. Uh, let's fly all the way over, it is black. Uh, uh, we'll see. So I go from the top down to the bottom, and yeah, it's seven. That's right. So, excuse me for my ignorance. Um, so yeah, it's seven up from the front block, and it's going to be sort of the same design principle. So it's the first uh, blocks of the first half are going to be seven high. So we just do the second sections. So it's the first section there. So we do the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the third section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now for the back section, it's going to be two rows of four. So it's one, two, three, four, and then one, two, two, three, four. And it's the same height, it's just in two sections. Next row in, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the next row in, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the next row, one, two, three, four. You just need to put one row of four there and it should line up like that. So we'll do the same on the other side. So it's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. And then the last one, one, two, three, four. And that's the design of your funnel top. And then like before, just go on the inside and fill in the gaps. And there we go, that's the funnel all done. So there we go, that's how that should look. Um, looks a bit different to the one over there, but maybe it's just the angle I'm looking at it. So that's your funnel, and then for the top, you can just fill in the gap, or uh, we'll fill in the, the cover, just add a black cover to the top. And there's your funnel. You can add a couple of holes in the top if you want for uh, the actual steam to, ex to escape. So say four holes like that. And uh, that's pretty much it for the wings either side. Now I do, do get criticism for this because they're not very well designed. But uh, the third block down on the side, so it's one, two, three. The third block down 
you're going to build out uh, three, so one, hang on, third block down, one, two, three, so third block down, one, two, three out, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then one on the top like that, and then just make it uh, three wide. Sort of like Viking horns, if you like. So that's uh, one wing of the funnel. I don't look anything special and looks a bit shit really, but uh, hey ho. So it's three, four, one, but it's four really on the side because you, if you if you go from the center one, center block, it's three. Other side of that, it's four because of the way the funnel's designed. So I do the same on the other side. So I work from the center. So one, two, three down. One, two, three out. One, two, two, three, four, one. Let me just double that up. Or triple it up. There we go, that's the other wing done. So we've got a couple of uh, Viking horns there. Or antlers, or whatever you like. But that's the first funnel done. And uh, she's taking shape. I've got a bit more character now, you can see, for the one over there. So the ship is definitely taking shape. We've got a silhouette now. So for the second funnel, we'll go to the uh, second deck house. I just flop down under the deck below, Shh, blonk down there, and for the front wall of the uh, deck house, I'm going to go to the twelfth block back. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we build our funnel. So I'll build the foundation of the funnel, and then I'll jump cut and fill in the rest. So it's two, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it's three, three, two. Two. Same on the other side, we go two, three, three, eight, three, three, two, like that. So that's the second funnel base done. So I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. I've got both funnels in place now, so that's two funnels and a mask done for today. And uh, the ship now has a proper silhouette, she's now looking more ocean liner-esque. So that is pretty much it for today, we've got about half an hour of this tutorial done. Um, I'm not really sure what to do in the next part, because um, we're sort of scaling back now, we've done all the big big pieces now, so I might go down to the forecastle and sort that out, or we might do the stern and the propellers and those small masts there, or we might do um, lifeboats, but we'll see. Uh, see when I get to it. So that is pretty much it for today. But like I said, really don't know what to do in the next part. But there's still plenty more to do. Plenty of detailing and things. But uh, the ship is definitely taking shape. And uh, yeah, she's coming along nicely. Hopefully get this done by uh, the middle of next week. But uh, we'll see. But anyway, this is Rich. Signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in part 9. So uh, bye for now.